not all wedding planners are designers, but I do think, it, at least in terms of planners who, who care a lot about this in a wedding, whether they're thoughtfully designing it or they just have an actual tendency to recommend vendors within a certain style. What do you think they should look for when they choose a, a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator? What are the things they should watch out for? Like, that's a great question. Um, I feel like there's a few different things to focus on. I feel like number one is like find someone who um, whose personality jives with yours because this is going to be like a high touch vendor. Like you're going to be communicating with this person a lot. And so you want to make sure that you can easily converse with them, that you feel like they communicate well and you can communicate with them. Um, and also like, I was joking, like, this is like a long-term relationship, guys. Make sure you like them before you hire me. Like not as long as getting married, but you know, if all the vendors would probably like be in contact with your planner the most. So that's like one thing that I think is really important to think about. Um, and also I think, you know, finding a, a planner whose style matches with yours. Like if you're a super type A bride and you hire a super low key wedding planner, like even if they're good at their job, just maybe their personality and their style of communication might make you anxious because you want over communication or vice versa. Like sometimes there's really type A wedding planners. I feel like that's the norm, like that's a <laughs> wedding planner trait right there. Um, but if you're like low key and you like haven't been dreaming of your like perfect wedding since you were a child, you know, and you really just want to answer like the need to know questions and otherwise be fairly hands off, like you don't want someone asking you too many questions because then it's going to make you anxious. So trying to find that planner who's going to kind of match that energy level with you, I think is super important. Um, and then I feel like communication is like an obvious one <laughs> and I, I, I might uh, be biased because I like plan destination weddings and I, it's my I, I take it very seriously that it's my job to bridge the gap between the vendors here in Hawaii and the clients that we have to the in the mainland and you know everyone is really busy but if I'm not the one answering questions or just letting them know that I saw that they reached out to me and had a question then I feel like the anxiety builds the longer they wait to hear back from you. So I think just generally being um, prompt, I mean, you don't have to work 24 seven, but <laughs> actually my like, my go-to like thing that's just really helped me because I always feel anxious about like getting back to people so quickly is I have an auto response on my email. And so, yeah, so if I'm out with an event, if like, and the client emails me, they're going to know right away, like, oh, hey, I have an event this day. And then my recovery days or these two days after I'll get back to you on this day. And that gives everyone peace of mind. So just whatever you can do to communicate expectations and just things in general clients is important. I also think finding a planner who is custom to working with a budget similar to yours is a good thing to think about. Um, you know, you don't want to have like, you know, expectations that your wedding's going to be like this, but your budget's like this. Um, and it's really helpful to kind of see um, like examples from the wedding planner's portfolio of similar size weddings and budgets as yours before you even start planning because then you can be like, oh yeah, like it does have just the right amount of like fancy rentals or flowers that I want. Or, you know, or you might realize you could do a lot more. So I think that's super helpful. Um, when thinking about a wedding planner. Um, and then finally, not all wedding planners are designers, but I do think, it, in, at least in terms of planners who, who care a lot about this in a couple wedding, whether they're thoughtfully designing it or they just have an actual tendency to recommend vendors within a certain style, I think it's important to hire a planner who you appreciate their style because then you're not having to like try and steer them in the direction that they're not accustomed to. So. Those are kind of my my four my four top things to look for. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you're planning a wedding and would like to learn more or are looking for a wedding photographer, you can visit www.hnl studios. Please like, subscribe, and comment to make sure you don't miss a future episode or any other videos that we share. Thank you and bye.